Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be crafting from our stash and creating this farmhouse style arched beaded tray. Now this decorative piece is the perfect way to display your accent trinkets and greenery and could be used in any area of your home. Now best of all, this project uses items purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now for your convenience, I've provided the list of supplies and tools to make this project in the description box below. Now I am very excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my amazing subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into the project. Now for this project, we'll need one of these glass signs from the Dollar Tree, two bags of glass marbles from the Dollar Tree in any color, we'll need a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree, and we'll need one ping pong ball from the Dollar Tree as well. Now to make the arches, we'll use this template that I have created and it is linked in the description box below. So go ahead and print out that template and then cut it out. Then you want to go ahead and grab your foam board and what we're going to do is we're going to trace that template onto the board. Now we are going to need 12 of these arches. And here are all 12 arches traced out. So now we're gonna lay out our cutting mat and we're gonna cut out all of our arches and we're gonna be using an X-Acto knife to do this. Now you wanna make sure you use a new and sharp blade for the smoothest and easiest cuts. And here are all of our arches stacked up and ready to go. So now you, what you want to do is group them in groups of three, and this will make four arches. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our glue gun and we're gonna run a bead of glue down that first arch. And then we're gonna place an arch on top and press it into place. And then we're going to do the same and we're going to apply a second arch on top of that. You want to press them all together so there's a nice tight bond and now you have a three stacked arch. You want to repeat this with all of the pieces and you should have four triple stacked arches ready to go. Now here I am, I'm just going ahead and trimming off any jagged edges and unevenness. You kind of want to make sure that all the edges are as even as possible for the cleanest look. And now that they're all trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and take a sheet of white cardstock. And what I want to do is cut it into strips that measure just slightly over a half an inch. Now you can also do poster board if you don't have cardstock on hand. And now that we have all of our strips, we can go ahead and adhere them to the edge of the foam arches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my glue gun, I want to apply hot glue along that raw edge and start applying that strip all the way around the inside and outside covering all those raw edges of the arch. Now this should result in a nice clean look all the way around. And now once the strips are applied, we want to go ahead and trim any overlap that you may have. And here are all of your arches, nice and solid. Now if you have any jagged edges left over, you could just use a sanding block or a piece of sandpaper to smooth those out. And now I'm just going to go ahead and grab that picture frame. I'm going to remove it from the packaging and set it aside. 
So now what we want to do is add the marbles to the arches. So I'm going to go ahead and place them in a container so they don't roll all over my working table. Now what we'll do is apply those marbles along the outside spine of the arch. So the first thing we want to do is we want to apply a bead of E6000 along that spine. And we want to stop right before the top flat edge. And then we want to take our glue gun and we want to apply a dot of hot glue up on, put it right on top of that E6000 and we want to apply the marbles all the way up the spine. And here's what it should look like. Now when they're all in place, apply another dot of hot glue between each marble and this should give it extra security. And then you repeat that for all of the arches. So now we're going to cut out our circle. So we want to grab three of those foam board scraps for your arches and we want to grab a compass. We want to make circles about three and a half inches wide. So go ahead and set your compass and draw your circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut those out with the X-Acto knife. Now we want to repeat this to make two more circles. And so now we have our three circles and what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue those together. And then we're just going to trim the edges to make them even. And then when they're even, we're just going to go ahead and apply that cardstock strip along the raw edge, just like we did with our arches. And then we're going to grab our ping pong ball and what I want to do is poke a hole in the end with a straight pin so it releases the air and you can press the end in slightly with your thumb. Now once that end is nice and flat, we could go ahead and we'll apply some hot glue to it and apply it to the center of that circle. And then we just set this to the side to dry. And now we're going to grab our picture frame and we're going to remove this logo. So we flip it over to the back side and I'm going to use this 100% acetone mixture to remove it. We're just going to place, place this on a cotton pad and as you can see it dissolves the letters fairly quickly and removes it very easily. Then sit this to the side and now that my beads are almost dry, I am going to go ahead and remove that last bead in the row and this is so it fit in the tray. You don't even have to apply this at first, but I removed it at the last minute because I thought it would make a better fit for our tray. And we're just going to make sure that this is dry. So now I'm going to take two of the arches and I'm going to place one in each corner and I'm going to match up those middles. Once the middles are matched, I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount of hot glue and connect the two pieces at that center and I want to hold it in place until it's bonded. And then I'm going to take the other two arches and I'm going to trim off about a quarter of an inch from the top edge. And this is so they will fit against the center arch. So now that my arch across the middle is all nice and glued into place, we can go ahead and take that third piece and we're going to determine the placement and the fit. 
Now, since this piece is placed at an angle, we're going to be cutting that top edge at an angle as well as shown. And here is the angled cut. And now we're going to apply a generous amount of hot glue and press that third arch into place. Now once that's secure, we're going to flip it around and we're going to repeat this for the other side. I'm going to cut this piece at an angle, get it all nice and fitted, sand it down if needed, and then we're going to apply that hot glue and secure this into place. Now once everything is nice and bonded, I'm going to take some scrap pieces of that cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to glue them to the seams as reinforcement. And then I'm going to take that circle piece and I'm going to apply it to the top center of that arch using hot glue. And then I'm going to reinforce that connection underneath by applying hot glue to the seams. And now that everything is nice and dry, we can go ahead and paint. Now I will be using this flat white spray paint by Krylon, applying two to three coats to the beads and the ball on top. And here it is all nice and painted and dry. So now I'm gathering up my paint supplies because I will be doing some distressing. Now we'll be using this white acrylic paint and this pavement gray acrylic paint to do this. Now I'm going to start by using a small brush and I'm going to blend that white and gray until I get the color I like. And then what I want to do is to start applying the distressing along the edges of the arch. And then what I'm going to do is take my chip brush and I want to dry brush on the paint blend for a worn look. And you also want to make sure you distress that circle on the top. And you also want to make sure you get some distressing on those beads as well. So now that that is done, we can sit that to the side to dry. So now we're going to go ahead and grab the frame and we're going to distress the edges of the frame in the same manner. Again, I'm just going to start by distressing the edges all around the top and the bottom and also making sure we get those corners as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry stress the worn look. I'm going to dry brush the worn look on there. All right, so now that everything is dry, we can add some scrap paper to the bottom. And this is just a scrap piece that I printed out from my computer. So what I'm going to do is I cut it to size and I'm just going to tape this to the bottom of the frame so I can change it out as you like. It'll be great to change these out for all the seeds and seasons that you like and styles. And then we just add our frame on top and this project is complete. 
and here is the finished project you guys oh my goodness I'm just so so happy with the way that this turned out now I simply added some candles and some lamb ear greenery to my display and wow it just totally makes this arch look wonderful and I love that the arches can be lifted out to make the tray easier to style and have access to you guys need to let me know in the comments how you would style this tray in your home. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Craft DEE on Facebook for the latest new sneak peeks and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.